Put your hands together, Detroit. Let's bring out the final warm-up group to center ice. Come on. Put your hands together. Bring them out. From the Skating Club of New York and the Skating Club of San Francisco, Christina Carrera and Anthony Ponomarenko. From the Peninsula Skating Club and Washington Figure Skating Club, Lorraine McNamara and Quinn Carpenter. From the Lansing Skating Club, Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue. All Year Figure Skating Club and Ann Arbor Figure Skating Club, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates. Detroit Skating Club and Seattle Skating Club, Caitlin Hawaiik and John Luke Baker. Competitors, your warm-up may begin. We are back for warm-up group number three, five teams on the ice. Sitting next to me, the one and only Ben Augusto. Ben, how are you? I am reeling. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm still dabbing my eyes. <laughs> yeah, let's so let's take a moment. Exciting. Let's take a moment before we get to all of the wonderful skater skaters out here and just tell us what's going through your head. That was an incredible performance. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm so excited for Karina and Joe. They um, obviously you can tell they've been working very hard. Oh, just a wonderful reaction from the audience and for them too. It's beautiful. And that certainly deserves more time, but we have more skating to get to. And we're yes, we do. <laughs> and we're counting on you to, to bring your expertise. We've been looking forward to hearing your voice for the entire broadcast. You've been looking forward <laughs> to having me sitting next to you, I'm sure. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. So, Christina Carrera and Anthony Ponomarenko. Wow, they were on fire in their sh in their rhythm dance. I caught myself. I almost <laughs> had to give another 10 points for Hufflepuff. Um, but, yeah, no, they were on fire in the rhythm dance, and they are here to fight for a place on this podium. So they did a full run every element of their free dance a couple of days ago at practice, and they were just charged and looking incredible. So excited to see them deliver a good performance here. Yes, the, the practice reports have been quite raving again two-time world junior medalist silver last year bronze in 2017 2018 u.s junior champion so a lot of good experience a lot of international experience see how it translates here at the most important perhaps moment of their career at this championships <laughs> and they bring a little different style so it'll be fun to see that Compared to the other teams on the podium, absolutely. Spots well, right now, Lorraine McNamara and Quinn Carpenter will be the second to skate in this warm-up group. Alexei Kiliakov and Elena Novak, their coaches, teammates of a sort with Rachel Parsons and Michael Parsons. What does their mindset have to be coming in? Well, you know, they've had a great season, a lot of success now. Their first real full season on the Grand Prix, and. So they, they are coming in with a lot of confidence from that, but also this is such a stacked field. They certainly know that they have their work cut out for them. They're a very technically strong and solid team. They lack a little bit in the, the skating skills and the artistic departments compared to the, the teams above them. So ooh, looking for a strong technical performance, but let's see if they can bring out some of that expression. Next up are reigning Ice Dance Champions, Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue, 27 and 28, coming off a Grand Prix final win. That was a really big deal for them, although the French world champions, Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron, were not there. We're expecting that will be quite a clash at the world championships between the two of them. What is their goal at these U.S. championships? Well, Maddie and Zach have struggled in the past to deal with their excitement and their emotions. They are so invested in everything that they do. So we've seen that give them trouble when they get over excited and then make silly mistakes. But last year, they seem to have got it together right at the end of the season. And this year, they have been on fire. 
almost flawless in every event. And I mean, they're coming in with maximum confidence, but also maximum pressure to deliver. Maddie and Zach holding the third highest total free dance score of all the teams. But for us, it's time to move on to Madison Chalk and Evan Bates. Second to last in the entire event. They've had a, a, a big coaching change moving to Mary France and Mary France Dubray and Patrice Lazon joining Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue. How do they seem to be handling that? Wow. Well, I'm talking to them. They are so happy with their training situation. They have a great group. I mean, Jean Luc Baker and Chris, uh, Kristen Hawaiik are also there. Caitlin Hawaiik, I'm sorry. And they uh, just they have this team now where they feel like they are friends, but they're competitors, and they are so happy with it. I was amazed by how well they they looked in their short dance, and there I go again, rhythm dance, <laughs> ten more points. Um, they are the just, their, their the skating wall. skills look so much more Please developed and refined, and I'm so excited for this free dance. They are, you know, national champions themselves, and they, they know how to put on a great show. Ben, you could consistently say my name wrong, and all would be forgiven, so no need to worry. <laughs> The last team Thanks, to Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push it. The, the last team to skate in this warm-up will be Caitlin Hawaiik and John Luke Baker. They won a Grand Prix this season. That is a big deal. They made it to the Grand Prix final, placing sixth there. So a lot of teams with a lot of expectations. Three spots open for the World Championships. It's, it's an incredible time right now to be...